presidents come and go and presidential reputations come and go and they rise and fall. And, and here you see um, how the presidents, the Democratic presidents who have followed Jack Kennedy uh, have played on uh, what he stood for. And right away, Lyndon Johnson, almost everything he proposes in the Great Society is the best way to remember Jack Kennedy's legacy is this program or that program where he points to it over and over again and it's a tremendous selling point point. and then you also see what can be missing here that you see with Clinton there's Jefferson and Jackson and Wilson and now we're all looking at their reputations and saying well maybe they don't represent what America or the Democratic Party uh, should be uh, Mondale same thing Dukakis quite the Northeastern liberal again Jefferson Jackson but he's left out Wilson. But Jack Kennedy remains. And Jack Kennedy, in many ways, because his term in office is so short and many of his promises are unfulfilled, he becomes sort of like that tabula rasa where you can write onto him and project onto him your values. So you have a conservative like Ira Stoll saying, JFK, conservative. And the conservatives project their values uh, onto him, anti-communism, uh, tax cuts, tax cuts. The conservatives point to that program of his, whereas liberals will uh, point to just about everything else, from public service in the Peace Corps uh, to maybe disengaging from Vietnam, raising the minimum wage, et cetera, et cetera.